guys welcome to my new video and this is a solution video for the md5 signatures challenge so let's start let's start with a function to parse the signature file and as a reminder the signature file looks like this one so we have a line and on a line we have the first field as a signature expected signature and then we have the file name for this we have the expected signature so this parse signature file will take a will get so get a path of type string which will be the path of the file and then it will return a map so this map will contain the path of the file as its key and it will contain the value which will be the expected signature of the of the file and it will return uh, the function will return an error if there was any error so on line number 16 we try to open the file with the path that we get from as a parameter if there was any error we return the nil for the map itself and then error value that we got from this function. We use different statement to make sure that the file is closed. And then we create a map using the map written function, which will be the string from the string keys to the value of type string. And then we create a new scanner to the file that we have opened using open function. Here we are using the constructor new of the new scan scanner class. So as we can see that it is prefixed with the new keyword, new word. So we can see that we can say that this is the constructor of the scanner class. So we use the buff IO package here. That's why we have imported the buff IO package. And here we have also imported the OS package that we have used above. So we have created a scanner for this file. And then we have we store a for loop and we have a loop variable L, L num, which will be which will be to represent the line number. And then we have function, we are calling a function, a scan function, which will return something true or false. So it will return true until the scanner is reached is has been reached to the end of file so this we increment the line number as soon as we get the value this of this as true and then we, on line number 26 we are getting the we are calling the function text of the scanner so this text function will return the current line to which the scanner is pointing and this field function from the strings package we have also imported the strings package so this function will return us the, the words that our line contains. So we will get a slice of words or say slice of strings in our fields. So we check if the length of this field slice is not equal to two because we have seen we have on a single line we have the two fields. One is the expected signature and another is the name of the file or say path of the file. Because we have all the files in the same where we are where our program is located. So we can say that this is a path. And then we return the nil for the map itself and uh, we are creating a new error and uh, in the error we try to specify it as informative we are trying to make it as informative as possible so we have written the path and the exact line number where the error has happened otherwise we are creating a new field inside our, a new entry inside our map and uh, we are inserting the key value which will be the path so fields one we can say that this this will be the field zero and this will be field one because indexing starts from zero so field zero will be the expected signature and the field one which will be the key in this case for our entry that we have that we are going to insert into our map and then here we are checking if there was any error while reading the this file while a scanner was reading this file if there was any error we just return again the nil for the map itself and an error value that we got from this we are calling this in the optional statement of if and if there was an error we return the error otherwise we just return the map which will contain now will now contain then both of the files and their expected signatures and then we specify that there was no any error while reading a file or say parsing the file and uh, another function is a function to calculate the md5 signature of the file so here it gets a path and it will return the string which will be the md5 signature and a possible error so we open the file and if there was any error we return an empty string and an error so we defer the file not close to make sure that the file is closed and then we create a new md5 hash signature we use copy function from the io package that we have also imported so here is our io package and we have also imported the md5 package that we have used here to create a new hash object 
okay then we use a copy function the copy function from the io package copies the data from the reader to the writer so here in this case the reader object is a file that we have opened here using open function and our writer object will be the hash value hash object that we have created using the constructor of this md file so we if there was any error we return the error value and an empty string for the signature otherwise we this format or we calculate the md5 signature using the sum function of this hash object it and it parse it we format it as a hexadecimal number and we have already learned the sprint function that this will con convert the anything into the string so here we get our string so this string will be returned to this one and we are returning the nil value for the error especially that there was no any error while calculating the md5 signature of a file and now we are going to create a worker the worker will run in a go routine and we process the file we are going to use an output channel which hold the results in it the results the result is the path which will be of type string and the file path it will be the file path and we have a match either the it is the signature for the uh, which we have calculated for the file is matched with the expected signature or not and then we have error, error property of type error to store if there was any error some kind of error while parsing or opening the file for example we can't open the file then we can store the error in this field and here we have a function md5 worker it takes a path of which will be of type string it will take the file path and then the expect, expected signature value for this file and it takes the output channel which will be now holding the type result that we have created here is struct so on the first line we are creating a result object a new result object and we are initializing its property path with the path that we have just received as a parameter and then on line number 66 we are calculating the md5 signature using the file md5 file md5 function that we have created so this will return us the signature for this file if there was no any error otherwise it will return the error so here we check if there was any error then we are initializing the property of this or object result object to this error that we have got from while calling this function and we are also sending this value this result object to this output channel that we also re received as a parameter and then we just return because we have nothing to return okay and then if there was no any error then we just initialize the match property which by default will be false so here we check if the value that we have calcul calculated the signature value using the file md5 file this file is equal to the expected value then it will be true otherwise it will be false and in here we are sending this result object again to the output channel in our main function first we are calling our all signatures file function and we are, are giving it the parameter argument md 5 somewhat which holds this content for now okay so this function will return us a uh, type a map which will contain the path as keys path of the files as keys and the values will be the expected signatures and uh, we check if there was any error while parsing the file this file then we print the error they can't read the signature file and then we specify the error and this fatal fl basically close the program after printing this error to the output console on line number 83 we are creating an output channel using the built-in map function and this channel will hold the values of type result so we have also created the result struct and on line number 84 we are just creating a new go routine and we are doing this for every uh, entry in our map that we have just created using this parse signature file so we receive the key which will be the path of the file and we also receive their expected signature values and we call the md5 worker function so this is the md5 worker function with the file path and the expected signature value and we send this output channel here we have a boolean variable we name it okay uh, it has a global value which, which is a uh, true for this for now now line number 89 we are creating a for loop so this for loop will run until we have the values inside signs signatures map and here inside this for loop first we are receiving the value from our output channel which will be of type result so the r will be now type of type result 
we don't know switch case that if there was any error while parsing or uh, calculating the md5 then we check if the result error property of this result variable is not equal to nil that means there was any error then we just make the we just print to the screen the part of the file and uh, the error value and we make this okay variable false and we also check if it was not matched so that means if the signature expected signature and the value and the signature value or the calculated signature are both not same then we also print this that the signature there was the signature mismatch for the file part so here we'll print the name of the file or say path of the file and again we are making this okay variable is false and here we are checking if not okay that means if okay is false then we just terminate our program using the exit function which is inside os package we also imported the os package and we also imported the log package that we have used the fatal f function and here if the, the okay was true then we just print that all md5 signatures are equal now let's save the file and run it name of the file is so it says all md5 signatures are equal now let's modify something i'll save now i'll save it now let's run the file again so it says nasa 00.log for the, the for this file we have a signature mismatch so i have modified the signature of this nasa 00 so we can see, see that it works correctly now let's save the file again and try so it again said that all md5 signatures are now equal so this is it for this video this could, this could be a possible solution for this challenge hope you like the video kindly like share and subscribe to my youtube channel and uh, thank you for watching